What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate, reverse rant, you know, hey. Your boy Chris Bird, man, he, he, he said he's going to be middleweight champ of the world again. To flex pose, I'm like, who going to hang with the old man? Nobody can hang with the old man. You know, he threw a few punches, man. You know, jab right hand, you know, whatever. Jab, jab, left hand, whatever, you know, show right straight. Yeah, jab straight. Jab left hand. <laughs> and I'm looking at him like, all right, Chris, yeah. I I'm, I'm not listening, man. I'm not even on that. Oh, yo, I don't want to see these guys get hurt. You know that. You know you don't. But at the same time, here's the deal. It's the fight business, man. It's the hurt business. Everybody, you know what's at stake when you're a fighter, man. So you decide you want to come back at an advanced age, whatever. You can. I mean, hell, everybody that got killed in the ring wasn't because they was 50 years old. You know, you can get killed in there. The thing about it is, you know. When these guys come back, you know, I guess they watch fights, their old fights. They look at the young fighters now, and I think every generation looks at certain fighters, and they have this thing like, my generation would have killed your generation. And then they go in there, and somebody beat the natural shit out of them, and it's like, oh, shit, that's fucked up. Um, I mean, you know, it's, they're all grown men. They do what they want to do. I'm not here to preach about safety and this and that, man. Like I said, everybody's going to do what they're going to do. So it is what it is. Now, personally, um, people would probably be more interested if he would, you know, do 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 what Tyson and Roy is doing. You know, go holler at Tyson, get in, get in that Legends League, you know, do something like that. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's a shot. Personally, would I be looking forward to seeing Chris Bird coming back and challenging for a title? No. But at the same time, um, you might have people that do. And, I mean, what I don't get about these fighters, about the fans, at least, that, that cheer for, you know, fighters, that, oh, this guy, yeah, like, he should get this guy. I, you know, let's look at, for example, look at, you know, we've been wanting to see either one of the Charlos, okay, against, you know, Gennady Golovkin or against Canelo, right? We've been trying to, you know, it's fights you want to see Demetrius Andrade. Now, those fights you want to see and, and, and they're, not, they're not happening. Is it right that Chris Bird, anybody could just come back for namesake and leapfrog over everybody and leap right into a title shot? I don't even think any of those guys should even be interested in, in even fighting Chris Bird. I mean, for what? What do they have to gain? But, you know, I'm not going to try to shoot somebody's ambitions down and, and their goals and dreams. Hey, Chris Burns, you do what you do, man. You, you you feel like that's what you want? Go for it. I'm just being being real about what I feel, even for what I saw, man. You see the body movements don't look the same. We know he look Chris Bird is tall. So he said he's 165. He looked really skinny though, man. He, he, he's toned, but he's skinny. And when you come back in that ring, Chris Bird was never a big punch. I saw in the video he was talking about how he how he hurt David Tua with a body shot. Yeah, I got you, but at the same time, you know, not to throw no shade, I don't need to do that. You know, I remember when he came down to, like, heavyweight. And the dude beat the snot out of Chris Bird, man. And, I mean, dropped him several times, and Chris Bird retired after that. You understand? Now, your body had a rest, but you're 50, you come back. And I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just something that's in the fighter's blood, man. We don't sometimes. Sometimes our 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 bravery, sometimes the ego, it outweighs our our common sense, our our smart thinking. Now, you know if you slipped or not. You should know, right? But then again, how many times have we heard that? It's like great fighters, former great fighters, always have this. They they, they so many times they have this. I got one more magical fight left in me. You know, and when Foreman did what he did, everybody just lost their damn minds. They thinking they're going to come back, you know, 45, 50, 55, whatever. I want to come back and, be like, bro, you know, hey, man, if, if, if Chris Bird goes with it, good luck to him, more power to him, man. You know, go out and do it. But personally, <laughs> I ain't trying to see Chris Bird go in there and get dropped in, man. I don't, don't want to see that. 
but it is what it is, man. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about this video, man. Catch y'all on the next one.